Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial, and this is the HMHS Britannic uh, conversion tutorial. It's basically taking Titanic, my 2018 design, and sprucing it up, giving it a repaint, and bringing it back as HMHS Britannic. So, um, yeah, that's what the whole purpose of this is. I decided to do just a conversion, because both ships are more or less 90% identical. So I didn't want to do the same process again and then just change a few bits. So I'm just going to take our existing design and put a few new bits on it. So it depends how you want to do this though. Because I mean if you want to build the ship if, uh, from scratch using my Titanic tutorial, then you can. Just basically when you come to building the black hull, uh, just build it in white. And I think I did explain that to you in the Titanic tutorial itself. Um, just have to remember it's the 2018 version. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, there's a few differences that you're going to want to do though during that tutorial. It's basically the stern area of the ship is going to be completely left, or well, left completely bare, and also the lifeboats are not needed either. I haven't removed everything yet, so we're going to have to do a few uh, bulldozing of a few things, but that's what we're going to be doing anyway. So I have a quick look over Britannic. So I've got the stern details all on place there. There's a different deck house compared to Titanic over there. An extra deck. The cranes have been moved about. Uh, got extra lifeboats and on the boat deck as well we've got massive uh, lifeboat gantries these things were designed to swing right the way out the side of the ship so if the ship ever did tip over during a, uh, if it sank which in reality it did then these things should be able to clear lifeboats away so we've got five of those we've got four at the four on the stern and then one on the uh, port no starboard side of the of the uh, of the bow next to the uh, forward funnel so that's a little bit there, and also, like I say, the colour scheme is completely different. Um, we've got extra lifeboats along the side as well, so there's plenty to do for the conversion. But, uh, like I say, depending how you want to do this, uh, if you're going to go for the full conversion from Titanic, then this is the one for you. But, so like I say, if you want to build it from scratch, the Titanic, and then convert it, um, then you just don't need certain, air or certain objects. So, uh, what I've done, I've removed everything bar the two bollards at the stern, the very stern, and also the cranes. I've left the crane bases in. This is on the poop deck, so I've left the crane bases on, in place, but the cranes have been removed. And, uh, the actual crane arm and crane body has been removed, because when I built the uh, tutorial, the cranes were facing inwards like that. But uh, when I rebuild them, they'll be facing backwards, or facing forwards like that. So that's the reasons for there. On the well deck, uh, in between the poop deck and the main superstructure, there were cargo hatches. Uh, they've been removed and there are also cranes as well they've been removed so that's all that the staircases need to be removed as well so I shall uh, oh, I'll come back to that so the staircases there need to be removed and also staircases here need to be removed so that's that area there up on the upper well, on the upper deck where the mast is on the in the back end of the promenade deck there were two other cranes as well they've been removed as well so that's all of them gone now on the boat deck uh, we're going to need to remove all the lifeboats so uh, what we're going to do is use weld edit for this, so I'll remove all the lifeboats down the sides, so from there down to the front end, and also the wall between the lifeboats as well. So between the forward set and the backward set of the lifeboats, back set of lifeboats, there's this wall along the side. We're going to have to remove that and, bit, and reduce it down to deck level, so that's got to go as well. So I'm going to remove the lifeboats on this side first, and that should all be fine. So remove the uh, do set to zero. Remove them. So there we go. Lifeboats on that side removed, as well as the wall, and the same on the other side as well. So same again. Lifeboats down this side. Remove all of them, right the way down to the back, and also that wall as well. That really covers well, pretty much covers the whole uh, superstructure changes. So you ain't gonna need too much bulldozing. So I move that one there. And there we go, lifeboats all gone. Right, so that's that. And there's also, I'm just trying to remember, um, there was a weather, uh, I don't know if this was true or not, because on the photographs of the real ship, there is no weather cover. But uh, there were uh, uh, certain people and certain models and certain media have added a weather cover from the edge of the deck here all the way back to the mast and up to the end of the two windows wall there. It basically follows the contours of the bit of the uh, of the deck there. Basically a massive weather cover, or a roof if you like, but the photographs I've seen of the real ship didn't have it, so I'm not going to add it to this tutorial. And as you can see on the prototype I didn't have it, so that's all that there, so that's that little jobby 
out of the way. Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave the stairs for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the colour of the ship now to white. So that's what we need to do. And I've, what I've done on the prototype there, I've left the yellow line in. The real ship didn't have a yellow line, but I've left it there for my own purpose. Um, and I suggest you leave it there until the tutorial is over because it's sort of a measuring tool for me. But uh, like I said, the, the real ship did not have it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change uh, the whole ship from uh, black to white. So I'm just going to go down to deck, uh, down the ground level here and go from here. And all the way up to the front end. And I, I, I apologise for this taking a long time, but I just want to get through everything uh, as thoroughly and properly as I can. Because I have been told, that it, well, over the last tutorial I did, which is back in 2012, I did skip a lot, so I'm doing this a bit better. Alright, so I go to the front end. And I want to go to there. And we replace the black, which is 25115 with quartz. And I've done that wrong. Uh, replace. I've spelled replace wrong, that's why. Uh, replace. There we go. And there we go, that's the hull change there. Or at least on one side anyway, so I'm going to do the other side, so I build this line out and then change it. Up to there. And there we go, that's the other side done. So that's the hull now changed to white. Uh, and I will change the funnels as well. The funnels all need to be changed to, to uh, yellow, so the top black part just change that to yellow and it'll be fine. Right, so now what we're going to do is add the green stripe. Uh, now what I what I used on the prototype was lime green concrete, I think. So if I find it, lime green, that's concrete part. Oh, there it is, lime green concrete. So we need that. And for the line itself, I'm just going to get my notes because I have written all this down. So bear with me a moment. And yeah, what we're going to do for the green line is either from the yellow line, which I've already got, but if you're going to go from the bottom, go from the bottom here and it's the uh, s the ninth up so we go one two from the from the red at this so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we add the green there so the green line goes there and the green line itself is three thick so it's nine up for the first green block and then like so so it's three thickness like so so that's, that's going to go all the way around uh, the length of the ship so that's the ninth block up, or it's the eighth block down from the uh, yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. So it's eight down from the yellow, or nine up from the red. So that is that. So that's the placement of the green line, and you just want to build that stripe all the way around the uh, length of the ship, down around the stern and around the other side. So I shall do that uh, in a moment. Cause I can't remember what the number is. So <laughs> I think it's number five, isn't it? So I shall go from there down to three. And then we should build the green line all the way around the edge. The green line's a bus cavity, isn't it? So I'll build replace uh, quartz with uh, 2515, I think. And yep, there we go. So that's, that's the first part. Then we just carry on all the way around. There. Is that the right place? Yeah, that's fine. So there we go. That's the green line added there. Just double check the gap, and yep, yeah, that's fine. So then we do the same thing all the way around the stern. So up to the rudder, and I think it's to that point, but I can't be certain. So yep, yeah, that's the bottom line, and then the next line, and the next one I think is there. So and yep, there we go, so that's the green line added, and you can see it does take the bottom section of the stern, but that's not a problem, because when you look at it from the side, it is still three high, it's just where it uh, blends blends into the area it's in, so uh, I should do the same thing now, so we should go from the top here, all the way around to the bottom, or the bottom line around the front. Do -do 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 -do. But like I said, apologies if I'm taking my time in this, but I don't want to screw it up. 
saying that though, I probably still will. So I just get around to the front here, and it was the ninth up when it said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go, the green down the side there, and then round to the four peak. <sighs> round to here. And there we go, that's the green line added all the way around. And she's taking shape a bit better now. Alright, so now for the first red cross, I'm going to be working on the. We'll work on the starboard side, the left, uh, right side, sorry. For the, for the first red cross, we're going to go to the front end of the ship, and from the first block of the green, we're going to count back 34 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Now on the 34th block back, we build three straight down in the red like that, and then uh, we build our cross. So that's the first part of the cross, and the cross goes in sort of squares. So I build a nine square block of red, like so. And then underneath that, down here, we want another nine square of red. Now, because it's on the curve of the hull, it is sort of an awkward design, but anyway, there we go. So that's the bottom section, and then the end section. Okay, that's the other nine, and then nine up, or th it's three by three up, so two there, and one there. Into there, and then the final bit in the middle. And there we go, that's the first cross. Now, when you look at it at any angle, it does look weird, but when you look at it side on, it don't look too bad to me, it's still a cross, it's just the way Minecraft renders it all. Uh, and then that's that, so what we'll do now is we'll get our white blocks and then either side of the cross, and you just add white there, to, to it separates the green band uh, from the red cross, so do the same there. And that's that job we've done there, so that's the first cross. You do the same thing on the other side, so remember both sides of the hull are symmetrical. And uh, that's that, so that's the first cross. Now head down to the centre of the ship. Uh, now I'm just trying to work out where this could go. Now I've got the uh, got the uh, compass on the centre of the ship there. So you've got that uh, compass platform, which is between funnel 2 and 3. So you've got funnel 2 there and funnel 3. And you've got the compass platform there. And you just go down the side of the ship directly from there. So it's basically, it's, well, it's basically right where the uh, the open windows, or the, 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 the glazed windows become open windows on the promenade. So... If we just go directly down from there along the side and onto the green band, and we add our cross here. So I used the first, put the first stripe in, like so. And I'm trying to work out how to do this one because it's quite a big cross. Um, so we build it three thickness there, and I think it's five thickness. So we build it five, and then we build it up another row. And then we build up another row, I think. So it's five thickness there. And then for the side we go uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Build the nine in there, and then extend it by two. Two lengthwise, so it's sort of five long. And then we add another row on top, and like so, and then another row below. Like that. So that is sort of the thickness of our uh, cross, really. So it's five length. So I'll extend the one on top and make that five high. So you've got a two gap basically between the yellow line and the uh, the red. So that's that. I think that's right. No, it's not. It uh, needs to be one blo one block higher. Let me just double check the prototype because I can't remember what the hell I'm doing. So the gap is. It looks like a single block, doesn't it? Or is it two? It is a two block, two block gap. So, yeah, the gap from the top to the side is actually four in length. So I've actually extended that one block too many. So I have to shorten that. Apologies there. I'm screwing things up already. <sighs> All right. So we shorten the top row. 
We don't need to actually because that's already short enough, but the side row just need to shorten that by one. And we can replace that with white because the gap between the cross and the green lines. So there we go. That's that one. And we'll do this side as well. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four down. One, two, three, four that way. And then we go one, two, three, four down. One, two, three, four across. One, two, three, four up. And that gives the diameter of our cross. You can see it's that, <laughs> that shape. And then we just uh, fill it in with the uh, proper red colours. So uh, replace 251.14 with quartz. Oh, hang on. Replace 251. Oh, piss, I'll do it by hand. Quicker that way. Alright, so we just replace the green with the red. That's the side cross, and then once again, the green line on the side, just separate that from the red cross, and there we go. So that's the bigger cross done. Apologies for all the fuck ups, but uh, of course, fuck up is my middle name, one of many. Uh, so there we go, that's two crosses done, and we do the third cross, which is another, another smaller cross like the one on the bow. Um, this one is 20. Hang on, uh, 26 forward from the stern. So if we go from the area of the rudder. So we don't go from the rudder, we go from the, the hinge basically. So the first block of the green here, we go 26 forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And on the 26th block is where we add the last cross. So we build it three high, basically in the rows of nine again. So I build the nine square like so, I think. Uh, something like that. I'm <laughs> just trying to change things as little as possible. Um, is it like that? Yeah, that'll do. And then the nine down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something like that. And then the nine this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then the upper part. So one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, like so. Looks weird, like I say, but hey, hey, there we go. And then just replace the middle part. There we go. So once you look at it from the side, it is a cross, but like I say, it's because of the design of the hull it's the weird but never mind and then we just replace the green sections here with the white there to separate the green band from the red and there we go that is the third cross done so like I say you want to do the same thing on the other side and uh, there we go so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm going to do a jump cut while I do that and I'll also change the tops of the funnels to yellow so um, back in a moment Okay, back again. Now, as you can see, I've added the green stripe and red crosses to the other side. And I've also changed these funnels from black top to all yellow. So that is that all sorted out. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go down to the uh, the area between the main superstructure and the poop deck. Basically, this empty deck down here, uh, where there would have been cargo hatches. But uh, I've removed the old ones, and we're going to replace them with new ones. So uh, you suppose you could have left the old ones there if you're converting from Titanic, but this, the new ones are slightly smaller, so that's why I've decided to um, make them a bit different. They're smaller in diameter, but they're much taller, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to the back wall here with the two windows, and we're going to leave a single block gap between the wall and the and the, uh, and the, uh, the cargo hatch. So single block gap, build, build on the deck, and we're going to build this one 13 wide, so that's uh, six other sides, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the sides are five, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then join them across all the way. Now, on the prototype over there, I built them in yellow, but I'm building them in white here, so it's up to you what colour you want to do. 
uh, but I'll carry on building them in white. So that's the diameter, which is 13 wide and the sides are 5. And then you're going to increase them to 6 blocks high. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these will go through the uh, from this deck up through the next deck when that's added. And then the cargo hatch should be accessible on that newer deck. So we'll increase it to 6 high all the way around. New set uh, quartz again. So there. And build them all the way around. So, and round to there. So there we go. That's the first cargo hatch added. And then for the top of the cargo hatch, we'll get our quartz slabs, similar to what we've done previously. And we'll just add uh, on the well, on the centre. We'll add a two block high. Well, actually, you can use quartz blocks for this one. So on the centre, three. So the centre three blocks of the cargo hatch. And you add a three blocks there, and then build that beam all the way across the length or the width rather of the cargo hatch. And then other side of that, you just use half slabs for the uh, rest of the cargo hatch. So it's just that you've got a raised center. So all the way across the side there, and then the same the other side. Like so, so that's the first cargo hatch, and it does look a bit weird it being that tall, but like I say. When the deck is added, it will be mostly covered up. So that's the first one, and then what you're going to do is leave a nine block gap from this from the back wall of the cargo hatch. So a nine block gap on the wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the tenth block, we build the same again. So build our next next cargo hatch, which is the same design, no, thirteen wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six that way. One, two, three, four, five, six that way, and then the five. For the sides, or four basically, because it attaches to that. Is that right? Well, it doesn't really matter. So make it f make it four. The sides four, so it attaches to this deck house here. So up to there. So it will be five basically, but the, the back wall is already built, so we don't need to worry. Um, and then what we do, we increase it to six high as before. So two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. So it's six high like that. And then we increase it in height all the way around. Around to there. Around to there. And on the back wall, what we do is remove the iron bars. And then just build the extra line across the top. So you've got the full diameter of the cargo hatch like that. And so that's there. And then what we do, the same as before, the three centre blocks, we just add another three cargo, uh, cargo, uh, quartz blocks across the width, like so, and then the, car, uh, the quartz slabs on either side. There, and on the other side. There we go, there's the two hatches like that. So, like I say, they do look a bit weird. They look like giant containers on the stern, but hey ho, there we go. And what we're going to do now is just remove the stairs now. I did say we're going to remove these. So, the stairs going from this deck here down to the, uh, the deck with the cargo hatches, and we're just going to remove the staircases because they are now surplus to requirements. Like so. Now, we'll do the same on the other ones. So, so then we've got a gap there, but that's not a, not a worry at the moment. And also the staircases on the back as well, on the uh, poop deck, we'll remove them. And the same on the other side, like so. Now, for the rest of the removal of stuff, we're going to do... Uh, yeah, well, I'll do that in a moment, actually. So we're, what we're going to do first is, from the poop deck here, which is this point here, we're going to go from this block up here, which is this corner block, and then we're going to build, basically tracing the line below, tracing the yellow line. So I'm going to build forward along the top line, so up to there, and then we build out again. So we're just tracing the line below. This is going to be the line of the uh, upper deck, and then trace it all the way a bit further to there, and then out again up to where it connects there. So there you go, you've got the, uh, that section there. 
And you're just going to add another line of blocks underneath as well. So make it two blocks in height or depth if you like. So you're building down and just build a line like so all the way along like that. And there we go, that's that there. And we will add some pillars. I've got five pillars that need to go in. And they are, I think they're is it three or four. I think it's a three block gap between each. So the first uh, area here is at the corner here. I'm going to leave a two block gap. So one, two, and add the first pillar there like that. So you've got a block, uh, a gap like that. And then another three block gap. So one, two, three, pillar. One, two, three gap, and then pillar. And then a one, two, three gap, pillar. One, two, three gap, pillar. And then one, two, three gap. Looks like it just, just rounds it off a bit better. <laughs> Actually, another block, and then that block. And there we go, it's just making it a symmetrical line. So you can't really see how the design is, but they're all three block gap between each pillar, except the end ones where the top line is three blocks, but the bottom is two because of this block here. Same on the other end. So that is that section there. I do this on the other side again. I do this quickly. Uh, so we're going to trace the line below. up to that area there and then double that in height for the area underneath and there we go and then we add our pillars so a one two three gap there one two three gap there one two three gap pillar there one two three pillar one two three pillar one two three uh, like, hang on, one more block. There we go. So there we go. There's the pillars on the other side as well. So that is now that open deck, almost done. Uh, so what we're going to do now is to remove some areas. So the top line of the blocks along here. So where those stairs were on the back here. So the back of the superstructure is here. We're going to remove the iron bars because they're not needed anymore on this deck here. So all the iron bars up to the superstructure, the centre building if you like. So remove the iron bars and then what we do is remove the line, the top line of white blocks. So it's just the top line. We we'll remove them up to the side like that. So the top line is all gone. So when we come to add the deck, the deck will be one solid wood area going back like that. And we we'll do the same on the other side and also to the back walls or the front walls of the poop deck. So I'll use world edit quickly, so go from there to there, replace 101 with a zero, and also that one and that one, and then remove the top white top line of white blocks, like so, and that's that one done. And the same for the back end here, so remove the iron bars along this front wall here. So, and then the top line of white blocks, remove all of them. And to there, same on the other side. And then the top line. And there we go, that is the uh, white line removed. and. Basically, the, the, the white blocks in here that's divided between well, where, the, where the staircase was, we just join them back across like that. So now that, now that there's a uh, the stairs are not needed, so I replace them. And now what we're going to do is build the wood decking from the back end of the superstructure all the way along the uh, top of the uh, pillars we've just added up to the deck on the poop deck. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So I'm going to use World Edit, the fill tool. And actually fill in the deck. So fill wood by 300 or 200. And there we go, that's the deck added. As you can see, it's gone right round the uh, cargo hatches and covered the uh, pillars here. So I've got this whole area in here now, which is a whole new uh, covered area. And it don't look too bad. And also, I can replace the blocks where the stairs were, and also the yellow blocks under the stairs. And the same on the other side as well. So replace the, the white blocks along the top. 
and the yellow blocks underneath. I don't know if they're actually needed because it's a hospital ship with a different colour. But anyway, that's that. And we'll just pop out again. And yeah, that's that job done there. And what we can do now is just extend the iron bars now from the iron bars from the poop deck. Just extend them all the way forward until you connect to the uh, raised wall on the side. So I'll just do this one side and then we'll move on and I'll do another jump cut and then we can move on to the more important things. Uh, well, they're all important really, but uh, we'll get there. So there we go, there's the iron bars extended up there. And now we're sort of halfway with the stern. And what I'm going to do now, I'll do a jump cut while I work out what to do next and then uh, we'll move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now what we're going to do is move on to the stern deck house. Uh, which will support the docking bridge and a couple of lifeboats as well. Uh, this may go into two phases because the game is lagging like hell, so uh, there'll probably be a jump, be a jump cut in the middle of this. So what we're going to do is go to the back uh, cargo hatch. So we've got the two here, the back one, and what we're going to do is leave an 11 block gap. So from the centre of the cargo hatch, and we're going to leave, like I said, 11 block gap. So one block there, and 11 blocks is what we want. So that's 10 and 11 and on the twelfth block a build so what we're going to do is build the deck house itself the uh, inner walls and so they are twenty one wide so that's ten either side of the centre block so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that way and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that way and then for the sides they are uh, sides are twenty so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, like so, same the other side, so I won't bother counting it, I'll just uh, do it freehand, too far, and there we go, that's 20, and then the back wall as well, do, 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 do. like so, so there's the uh, base of the inner walls, and then what we do is increase them to 4 blocks height, so 2, 3, 4, and increase it all the way around, Set quartz from top to bottom, all the way around. And there we go, that's the walls all increased in height, so you've got a square basically, which is four blocks high. Now we go back to the front wall again, and on the centre block, which I don't know which one it is, so if I go from the centre line of the cargo hatch, and then the centre line of the wall here. So the centre block is here. I put a colour block actually. So that's the centre line of the of the front wall. And then on the top of that, I'm going to put a wood block. And then build six blocks forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six like that. And then a white block like that. So that's the front of the uh, deck itself. And what we're going to do is build out to the sides. Now this wall is going to be uh, 15 wide. So that's seven either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. So you've got the front wall like that. And then the sides are, uh, hang on, work this one out. Sides are, f yeah, uh, the sides are five. So one, two, three, four, five like that. And then out to twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there we go. That's that. And then do the same on the other side. So it's five back. One, two, three, four, five. And then 12 out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that curves, that sort of, don't curve, but it sort of goes around the uh, the crane there, so you don't get involved there. And then for the sides, we're going to sort of curve around the stern as well. So the sides are uh, 2, so we get 1, 2 like that. And we're basically tracing, so it's 2 back, and then uh, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. So you get the sides curving like that. And then you're going to build inward six, so you go build towards the center, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then forward four, so one, two, three, four, so you're curving inwards and then forward, so it's forward four. And then we build uh, seven inwards, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we add a color block to mark the center. So that's one side. I'll just do the other side and make sure this lines up. So the side is two and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and then seven one two three four five six seven seven again one two three four five six seven uh, and then six one two three four five six five one two three four five and then six inwards one two three four five six and then four forward one two three four and then seven one two three four five six seven and that lines up just fine like that so there we go that's the the, uh, the deck sat on top like that and it should look something like that it does look a bit weird from the top but when the deck is added it will look fine so when we come to add the deck which we go all the way forward again so where we've added the wood blocks like so we just fill in the deck from this point on all the way around and all the way to the back end so I shall stand on this wall again and use the fill tool to fill in the deck and there we go that's the deck added there and there you go you've got a better look at the deck now so it's sort of shaped like that and that is one there like that so that's that's absolutely fine and then what we're going to do now is double the height of the white round uh, the, the, the white edges all the way around we double it in the height but we build it on the underside so we build it on the bottom of the uh, white blocks just build it all the way around so that it uh, is two blocks thickness all the way around with the handrails getting in the way which is really annoying also the crane base, there's loads of stuff gets in the way on here, it's a real pain in the ass alright so along the side along the front sorry and then down the other side, so I'm doing it as quick as I can, I'm just trying to do as much on camera as I can so that I don't, well I'll probably will fuck it up, I mean like I say, it's, it's my middle name down there and then lastly across the back end and there we go that's that wall increased there I'll say increase this increase downwards so there we go there's the uh, walls added there and as before like with the rest of the ship you can start adding the doors and windows to this inside wall and it will look fine uh, so what I'm going to do now is add some pillars there's going to be seven pillars along the side here so if we go to the front corner of this raised deck now the front corner on the outside edge we're going to add our first pillar, which is three blocks straight down. We're going to have to remove some iron bars to do so, so it's a pillar there. And there's a four block gap between each, so that's one, two, three, four, and then we add our next pillar. And then one, two, three, four, and then our next pillar. And then one, two, three, four, next pillar. One, two, three, four, next pillar. One, two, three, four, next pillar. And then one, two, three, four, and final pillar there. And there we go. And replace any iron bars you accidentally remove. And there we go. That's that side done there. I will do the other side later on, but that's that bit done there. And uh, don't look too bad. So we've got the pillars on the side and the upper deck there. And uh, like I say, you can start adding the doors and windows, and then we'll look fine. Uh, before I move on to the docking bridge and other things, I'm going to do the cargo cranes. Now, I've already got the bases in place. Um, so if you're going through the uh, the Titanic tutorial, these are the only things that will be needed. Uh, these only cargo ha uh, cargo cranes. So the cargo cranes themselves originally were facing inwards. I did explain at the beginning they're facing inwards, but because of this upper deck here, they need to be changed to facing forward. So the cargo bodies themselves will go from the centre block, and they're five high. So one, two, three, four, five, and they're three in width. So one either side, and then the counterweight on the back. Uh, it's fine like that and the crane arm which I use I use quartz slabs for this one the crane arm is second block up and the crane arm itself is 12 long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 same on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then two in the middle like so so that's the crane body and crane arm there and then what we're going to do is to add the next crane. There's just two cranes that go either side of the two windows building on this deck here. So what we're going to do is go from the crane, which is already here, and we're going to leave a uh, where is it? It's a 28 block gap. So from the centre block of the crane, a 28 block gap on the wood. So I build count forward. So that's 20. 
26, 27, 28. So there's a 28 gap. And on the 29th block, we start building. So we build the crane body in yellow first. So it's yellow at the bottom. So it's three, three on the sides, and then three at the back, like so. So that's your crane body. And then the crane upper body is white, but that's two blocks high. Like so. And then the crane body top. Or not crane body, but the crane base. Like so, and then we do the same thing again. We build the crane ba uh, crane body up five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the counterweight on the back. And then the crane arm, which faces the other crane arm. So that's twelve as well. So one, two, th damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the two in there like that. So there we go, that's that crane or well, those two cranes there done. You just want to do the same thing on the other side and then it should all be fine. So remember you got the crane base on the other side and then you just build the same crane on the other side of the two windows building. So that's that there. So I'm going to do another jump cut because this thing is lagging like hell and I'll restart the server and then we'll go to the next part. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've added the cranes on both sides of the ship now and also the, the uh, pillars. So what we're going to do now is go to the back end of the uh, deck house, or the back wall at least, underneath the uh, deck here. So the back wall under here. I've not added the doors on windows, but uh, we'll go to the centre block anyway, because we've got to add a small shed to the stern here. So the centre block of this wall is here. And we're going to leave a seven gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block is where we build. And it's going to be nine wide, so that's four either side. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. Sides are five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then join them together. And then increase it to three blocks high. So two, three high like that. So build the same all the way around. There we go, and then for the roof we're going to use stone slabs, and that's pretty much the basics of this shed. I don't think there's any actually any windows or doors. Well, maybe there's probably a door to it, but I don't think there's any windows. So uh, we'll do the very basics with this one. So I just add the, st uh, the slabs all the way around, or all the way along the top at least. And there we go. There's that uh, deck house done there. So what we're going to do now is go to the back wall of the upper deck, which is here. And we've got the centre block here. And what we're going to do is count forward six on the wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And mark that there. And then you go six out to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block we add a block. And then we build that four square like so. So it's four square. And then three high so it's four by three basically four square three high and that is a one two three four five six gap so do the same on the other side of the red block one two three four five six on the seventh block we add our square pillar like so these are your two pillars and then on top of those pillars we add four wood blocks like so like that and then what we're going to do is just join the two together all the way across the width between the two pillars. So this would be the docking bridge of course. So there you go there like that. So you've got a basic docking bridge there like that. And then from the centre block we're going to add I'll add a red block for the minute and then we're going to build the front wall of the docking bridge uh, 39 wide. So that's what's half of 39? Hang on let me think this one. So I think that's 18 on the side, isn't it? So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'll just measure that because I can't be sure. I think it's 19 actually, isn't it? So that's, that's 37. So build it one block wider either side. There. And the other side, so I was slightly wrong. So it's 19 on either side, not 18. So there we go, there's the front wall. And then for the sides, we build three. One, two, three. And then we go back inwards. Uh, 
15, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 3 uh, back, so 1, 2, 3 like that. So do the same on the other side. 3 back, 1, 2, 3, and then 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3 back, and then join them together across there like that. And there we go, that's the docking bridge basics done. Then we just add the wood decking in the areas. Like so. And the same on the sides. Like so, so that's the basics of the dock, uh, docking bridge. And for the stairs, uh, what we're going to do is add them eight blocks in from the side so if we go to the outside edge on the back end on the back wall of the uh, docking bridge we go from out from the sides we go one uh, eight from the side so one two three four five six seven eight and we'll add our stairs there so we'll find our stair blocks which are those ones and we'll add our stairs block underneath stairs block underneath stairs and a block underneath plus another set of stairs like so, and then the banisters of course which are two up, two up, two up, and two up, two up, two up, like that, so that's that one there. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we'll add our stairs, plus a block, stairs, block, stairs, block, and stairs. And the banisters, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, like that. And then lastly, the handrails around the edge. So it's all nice and neat when it's all done. There we go, that's that docking bridge done there. Uh, you can add a few other mechanisms for the uh, controls, like the, tele the telegraphs and things like that. Um, I haven't, uh, I can't remember what they actually were, because I think Ocean Liner Lover, or Ocean, Li Ocean Liner Fan, I can't remember his name actually. Uh, he showed me uh, how to do telemotors or telegraphs, but I can't remember how to do it, so I'll come back to them another day perhaps. Uh, so that's the docking bridge, and then what we're going to do is add a couple of davits on this area, because there's, there's two lifeboats on this deck house on this uh, deck itself so we'll go for the front wall of the docking bridge and on the very outside of the ship so you leave a one block gap so straight down from the front wall straight down from the front wall of the uh, docking bridge and then one block forward we build our davit which is six high two three four five six and then two and then one two three out so we're building the the the, do uh, the, the davit hanging out the side like that and then you leave a 14 gap in between, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block we do the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 2 up, and then 1, 2, 3 out like that. So that's the two davits there like that. And then on the underside we use uh, wood fencing for the, uh, the uh, cables. So uh, two blocks down there like that, or two sticks down really, so two or posts if you like, like so. And then for the hanging lifeboat, now you can copy my design or you can use your own because mine is pretty much a fail from the beginning. But uh, I'll do a quick design, so two and then two like that. And then two and two like that. And like I said, this is my usual design, but it's pretty shit, so if you want to do your own design, by all means, but let's do a quick lifeboat design. Like so.
So you've got a basic boat like that, I mean, it's my usual design like I say, but we'll just take a few corners off and just uh, straighten the edges out to make it look a bit better. And also the inside blocks as well. Remove some of those. And then we'll add a coloured canvas, which is normally grey wool for me. And we'll just add the grey. So, so there we go, there's the lifeboat, and like I say, it's my usual shit design. And uh, yeah, it didn't look too great, but that's how, that's how it is anyway, it hangs over the side. Whether that was accurate to the real thing, I don't know, I'm sure someone will correct me and give me a load of abuse for it as well, so um, bollocks anyway. Uh, so there's the uh, lifeboat there, you want to just do the same thing on the other side, so what I'll do, I use welded it for this because I can't be bothered to do the full build again. So. Well, I'll edit most of it as I, as I can. So we'll do uh, copy, flip to the right or left, and then paste. And there we go. And I can remove that wood block or red block, sorry, under there. And we have our two lifeboat uh, gantries there. And the last job for this deck is just to add the handrails around the edge, all the way around the edge front to back, left to right, all around there. And then we can move on to the next jump. I've got to do another jump cut anyway because it's really lagging like hell. I think there's something running that shouldn't be running. So I shall sort that out and then we can move on again. So I've got everything written down ready. So let's just add the handrails all the way around. too much damage like I'm doing. And there we go, if I can just get out of there, there we go. Right, so there, there's the uh, that deck house pretty much all done. And oh, there's a couple of vents we can add as well, I may as well do those. So if we go from the centre block, I'm not going to put them in anywhere specific, I'm just sort of go uh, roughly on the centre block, roughly halfway along the length. We go uh, one, two, three, four out to the side, and we add our vent, which is three up, two at the back, one at the side, one at the side, and then we get our white stairs, which are there. So white stairs on the top, and a block forward, and there's that one there. And then we go one, two, three, four out that way. And just make sure the gap's fine as well. I just put that block there. Count the gap, which is five. That's fine. So there's our vent, and there we go, there's our two vents like that, and I think they're two different heights, or are they, nope they're fine. Right, so there's our two vents on the top there, and apart from the doors and windows, doors and windows which I normally leave out, that's all pretty much done. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'll do another jump cut, sort out what the hell's lagging, and then we can move on to the big bits, which are those gantries. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again, hopefully for the last time. So what we're going to do now is go to the boat deck, uh, starting from the back end, and we'll work our way forward. So if we go to the back end of the boat deck, and we're going to start building those big gantries. But uh, first we've got to build the bits between the gantries first. So what we're going to do is go down to the back corner, which is here, and we're going to count forward 15 blocks. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the 15th in. And then uh, one block in. So we go to that point there. And I'll just double check it to make sure it's right. So it should be right on the edge. And yeah, that's fine. So I just thought I'd double check that because I usually screw this thing up. So it's the 15th block forward of that corner and then one block in. And then we're going to build six blocks up. So that's one already, two, three, four, five, six, like that. And then we leave a six, no, a seven block gap uh, forward. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block, we go one, two, three, four, five, six again. And then for the sides, uh, we go inwards uh, the fifth block. So it's a five block gap again. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then the same on the other side so it's uh, two three four five and on the sixth block one two three four five six like that so that's that little section there and then we join them all together at the top all the way around this is basically a support for a lifeboat so we build all the way across like that like that and then we add a wood platform wood roof basically and this, this, basi this is basically a um, a support for a, for lifeboats. So a lifeboat will go on the top, or a bit higher, and a lifeboat will go underneath, and the two gantries will be either side, which would swing out and pick up a lifeboat down below. So that is that there. Uh, so well, that's that little section. And then on the inside, down below, we go one block in from each corner. So we've got the left corner here, we go one block in, and put a block, uh, two blocks in, sorry, we go one, two, uh, hang on, one block in, or one block inwards and then two blocks that way so we'll go to there like that and the same this side like that so it's three wide basically three wide underneath one block back from each leg like that so it's two I'll make it two high as well so I build it like that so it's three high and it's basically one block gap between each leg there and one block uh, narrower than the legs themselves so you got them like that apologies if it's difficult to follow and then we need quartz slabs and we'll add slabs across the bottom and then slabbed across the top like so and then same on the other side slabbed across the bottom slabbed across the top and then slabbed across there like that and then on the inside we use black wool or black concrete or whatever and just fill in in there like that actually get rid of that one there because I don't need it so we'll just add black blocks in like that so you've got to sort of a vent really but it'll support a lifeboat so there we go a platform there and then this section inside, just measure how long the thing is. So it is seven blocks long and three three in width, as you can see. So it's seven long, three wide. And that is that building, what sort of support basically, which goes underneath the big shed there. And then for the lifeboat, we're going to add is 15 blocks long. So if we go from the centre, which is here, pardon me, and we'll add our keel, which is seven either side. So one, two, three, four, five. Five, as you build it six long so it's six either side so I just measure how long it is and it should be 13 that's 12 so I make it 13 like that so it's 13 and then we'll add two blocks and a block to make it one block longer that way and then two blocks plus a block there to make it one block longer that way and that'll make it 15 long like so and then usual design with our boats the usual fail design if you like and I'm pretty renowned for my fail designs like so and then the top part goes underneath it sort of puzzled me because I copied all this from a model but it sort of puzzled me how do you actually get the lifeboat out from under there and that's not really explained so I'm just I'm just copying what I saw and uh, I'll leave it up to you to interpret that one so but it looked good nonetheless so I'm, I'm just copying it because it looked good but uh, anyway there's a lifeboat added under there and it's the same design that I added on the uh, on the stern deck over there so if you want to copy that by all means so just remove the inside blocks and replace them with grey blocks don't need to do the inside because you can't see it so we we'll just remove the blocks which are on the uh, ones that are on the exposed side so there we go there's the boat uh, added there and the canvas added so there we go We've got a boat on a on a plinth underneath another plinth and uh, it should look there like that I think what goes on there should be another boat on top here but I didn't add it on the prototype um, but no big deal right so that's that bit done and then on the inside legs so we've got the two in two legs here which are on the closest to the uh, handrails there on the edge here we're going to extend them up by four blocks so we go one two three four and then one two three four and it's only with those two legs like that so those two legs extended up by four and then we're going to build another boat on top so once again we we'll build the boat the kill of the boat 13 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then 10 11 that way 13 that way 12 30 so there we go there's the kill which is 13 and it's the same design as the boat below so i'll just build two that way and up, one there, and then two that way and one up, 
and it's the same boat design again. Like so, and then the same at the top. And the same at the other side. And then we just tidy up the edges where they need to be. Do, 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 do. And then we just get rid of the insides. And we can fill this one in with grey because it's exposed. You can see the whole thing. So I'll fill the, the boat in with grey for the canvas top. And there we go. There's the other lifeboat there, like that. Now it looks a bit weird because it's supported with nothing, basically. But. Uh, that's our little jobby done there. But this in this area underneath, in there, and in this area underneath here, we're going to use some uh, wood fencing for this bit. So we're going to go from the centre, uh, from underneath this boat here. So we go straight up with four there, and then straight up four on either side. Like that there. And then the two rows here, like so. And then the two rows there like that so that gives it some support makes it look a bit weird as well but it's three wide top to bottom and then two wide side to side same with the underside here so this one's probably a bit taller so it's that and then on the side we go uh, we just go one along the width because it looks a bit more symmetrical like that and then we go that's those two areas done like that. So that's that little area done there. And it's going to be five of these because you've got uh, five sets of uh, gantries and they all go between each set of gantries. So this will be just the one and you'll want to copy uh, the next four on the side as well. But I'll worry about that in a minute. Uh, so right now what we're going to do is go down to uh, actually double check the prototype first because I want to make sure this is right. But as you can see, we've got the uh, the support for the boats there. And uh, what we're going to do is leave a three block gap from the building on the inside there. So that's that, three block gap. And we use black wool for this one, or black concrete, whichever you want. So we'll go on the inside, and I think with mine, I'll leave it as a four block gap. So from the inside, we'll go one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block we'll start building. So I build it three wide like that. And then one, two, three, four for the sides. One, one, two, three, four, like that. And then make it on the inside like that. So that is the base of what will be a hinge. The hinge that supports the arm. Because the arm will the arm sits sort of angled that way, but it's meant to swing out that way, so it'll be a hinge there. Right. Now on the prototype I used anvils, so if we get anvils out. We put an anvil there and an anvil there, sort of creates the hinge mechanism. And then we get our yellow hardened clay for this next job. And on the inside here, what we're going to do is build up four. So one block uh, in from the edge. So we go one, two, three, four there, and then one, two, three, four there. And then one, two, three, four there, and one, two, three, four there. So you've got four pillars there like that, sitting on top the black hinge like this, like so. And I'm just going to double check, make sure everything's fine over there. Yeah, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is angle the hinge so it's fate, so it's sort of angling towards the centre. So what we're going to do now is add from each pillar. We're going to add uh, seven rows of three. So we go one, two, three. Three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven rows of three there. And the same with the front or the outside pillar. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. Then we do the same on the other side, or the other two pillars rather. So we go one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and then the last pillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. So that's seven rows of three up, like so. And then what we want to do is on the top row, we're going to go from the uh, on the back on the outside. So we've got the outside rows, and the inside rows. So on the outside row, we're going to add a row of. Uh, I'm trying to work this one out. We go up four, so we go one, two, three, four, and then up two there like that, and then we go out three, one, two, three like that. So it creates the uh, sort of the overhang of the hinge. I'm trying to see how it works, uh, and then on the top of that we go one, two, I think, or is it one? Let me just double check this because I've not written this down very well. But if I, you can, if you look at look at it, you can sort of get the idea. So. It was four up, two up, and then one, two, three out. All right, so it's two up, and then one, two, three, four, five uh, back. So it's two up, and then five back. So we'll just do that. We've done the two up, so that's fine. So, we do the, so it's two up, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then we go down two there, and then one, two, three, four, five there. And that creates the sort of hinge there like that so that's that little bit done there and we do the same on the outside here on the inner in the inner one sorry so we go one two three four up two one two three out two up one two three four five back two and then one two three four five down like that and that creates the the top uh, curve if you like so I just fill in the top because this is all one solid block The same around the front, across the sides, and then we go, or leave it like that. So we do the same on the sides, there, and the same on these side bits as well. And I think that will do for there. So that's the first one almost done, the first uh, gantry. So we'll go down back down to the bottom, and then what we do is just add some cross beams, but joining the two sides together. So I had a beam across. The uh, center, or individual blocks rather, across the center, like so. And then add another one there, like that. And then the same across the back. Add a few beams, so one there, there, there. So it makes it just looks like a piece of Meccano, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then up there, like that. And there we go, that is the first gantry pretty much done. And uh, that looks something like that. It looks a bit weird, but. It's a hell of a lot more detail than the ones I've done originally. So uh, that's that one. So what we can do, actually, we can remove, we can actually fill fill the block in there. So put a block in there and a block on the inside there. Makes it a bit more, make it a bit more uh, chunkier. And it should look something like that. And not too bad. All right. So what we're going to do now is join the top lifeboat to the bottom of the uh, gantry here. So I'm going to use, uh, what do I use? I use we use grey concrete for this one, so on the uh, edge of the lifeboat we add two, and then two up, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, to connect to the bottom of the boat, or bottom of the hinge, like so. And uh, I don't know that too bad, do it. And then what we want to do uh, is before we build the next one, and the next hinge, we're going to go on the inside. And what we're going to do, I'm trying to work out how to do this. Um, actually, we'll go back over to the prototype because this is how things roll here. Right, so the hinge here, and from the we've got the completed hinge there, and behind the hinge we've got this diagonal grey going down to the shed here. What these are are the hydraulic, uh, basically pistons, which uh, push the uh, uh, push the uh, arms out and back in again. So they're basically rams if you like so if we go uh, leave a what's it uh, a seven block gap behind the hinge build a building three high there but uh, where you build the next hit the next hit uh, the next davit sorry like that you're going to build the building two blocks high because it's on the upper deck uh, the upper raised deck there so there's a seven block gap now should I do that now before I forget so we go all the way over and it's a seven block gap, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And build our building, which is three wide, sides are four, one, two, three, four. Basically the same diameter as 
the uh, hinge over there and then we build it to three high. And then we add the roof which is stone slabs or at least it is on my one anyway. So add the stone slabs. Like so. And then on the centre of that building, <coughs> on the centre of the building we add rows of two. So remove the centre slab and then we go up two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two up like so to connect to the uh, the, the davit it's one the, yeah, to connect to the back of the davit so that is that one there so that connects to that davit there that is that little shed that controls the mechanism and that is half of the davit done so what we're going to do now is go to the other side of the davit and it's the same process again so I get the black wool again because I need that so black wool and on the other side it's the four block gap from the building on the inside. So you've got the building on the inside here. One, two, three, four. Uh, four gaps, so one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, we build three wide and then one, two, three, four for the sides. And that's the base for our next davit. Anvils, each end. And then we build one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the beginning of your next davit. Now this davit, the same as the other one, but it's it's facing the other davit. So it's you've got two sort of claws. If you look at the prototypes, especially this one here, you can see the two gantries face each other. So that is where that will go. Um, I'll just I'll just think what to do. I don't want to do too much, but our oh, bowls will do it anyway. So I'll do the seven rows of three up. So one, two, three, four five six seven and we do the next one one two three four five six seven and the same on the other side one two three four five six seven and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, that's those ones done. Right, and then on the top, it was a four, wasn't it? I can't remember, so I think it was a four. One, two, three, four, yeah. So we go one, two, three, four up, and then two, and then one, two, three inward, so it's facing the other one. And then we go two up. And then five, one, two, three, four, five that way. And then two, and then one, two, three, four, five there. So do the same on the back here. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Two up. One, two, three, four, four, five. Five, and then two, and then one, two, three, four, five down. And that's the basics for your gantry again. In the same process as before, we just fill in with pillars across, or beams rather, across the gantry. go that's that one done and it's the same thing as before with the, uh, the cable as well from the boat to the gantry and uh, the two blocks there and then three 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 and three and that connects your boat to the gantry itself and then lastly we go down and we what was it, what was it? seven gap wouldn't it? I'll just measure that to make sure need my tools again so it was a seven gap, that's fine. Of course this one needs to go on the upper deck here, so it's only one block lower. It's only two blocks high rather than three. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we build here. So it's uh, 
two that way, two that way, two in, two in, and that way. Increase to two blocks high, because of course it's one block higher up because of the upper deck here. Slabbed roof. And there we go. And then we add the top part, which is rows of two. So we go two, 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 two and two. And that's pretty much it for that uh, gantry there. So that's what you want to build. You want to build five of these. That's the, that's a complete unit there. A uh, bit more detail maybe. You can put another lifeboat on this bit here as well. Because I didn't do that on mine. But, you know, it's, it's what wasn't on the model that I looked at. But, you know, I, I think it's, it's sort of... It's, I don't know if it's conflict of interest or what. Or, but uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to get a hell of a slating for this for not accurate, not accurate enough business. But... You know, I don't really care, I'm just doing things my way, so, um, anyway, if you can either put another lifeboat on this platform, or put handrails all around the edge, but it's up to you what you want to do, and, uh, I'll just put the handrails around there, but, you, like I say, you can put another lifeboat on there, and uh, it won't look too bad, but, you know, that's what you want to do, but like I said, that's a complete unit now, so that's that one there, and you want to build five of these, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll point out where the next one goes, because there's two that side of the funnel and two on the forward end of the funnel so if I just put measure out the gap so between the first pair and the next pair so it's a uh, an, a ten block gap for the next one and uh, that's there what's the gap between each gantry for uh, instance so it's fifteen gap between each pair or fifteen gap between the pair and then, 15, and then a ten gap between the two pairs if you know what I mean and then you do the same on the other side of the deck and then the last one which is at the bow of the ship which is next to the first funnel uh, if we go to the wall which separates the uh, the bridge wings from the rest of the ship so you've got this wall here separating wall you're going to want to leave uh, a 11 block gap so it's 11 block gap from the bridge wings to the uh, forward gantry and the gantry blocks which uh, control the mechanism sit on top of the deck house there sit on top of the officers quarters if you know but there's only one pair of these they only go on the uh, starboard side of the ship on the uh, left hand on the right hand side of the ship so that's where that one goes so what I'm going to do I'm going to do, <coughs> do a jump cut while I uh, put the other ones in because it's just you know I just wasted probably an hour putting that one up uh, so I'll put the other ones in place and then we'll, put, we'll do the final details so uh, that's that but anyway that's a complete unit and uh, yeah that's that so what I'll do like I said I'll do a jump cut put the other ones in place and then we'll move on to the other details so um, back in a moment okay back again now I've put all the gantries in place now so I've got uh, all five of them now for the the gantries at the front end which I didn't really explain well I explained where they go basically the gap between the uh, the deck house, or the, not the deck house, but the bridge wings to the uh, the crane. Uh, the buildings which support the rams sit. Uh, they're only three blocks square, so that's what I added on the tops of the deck house of the uh, superstructure here. So they're only three wide, or three square, if you know what I mean. And they're two blocks high, but the the amount of twos you go between there and there doesn't really matter. But I've added one, two, three, four, five, and a one block. So five rows of two plus one block is what I added. Uh, but it's up to you what you want to do in terms of uh, you know accuracy or your own design really but may, that's basically what I've done anyways is a square block nine square two blocks high slab roof and then a few rows of two connecting there like that but it's overall though it's the same design uh, gantries and all so that is uh, everything there so the lifeboats gantries uh, cables and things like that so that is everything there uh, so that is that little job done there uh, a few more jobs to do. We've got lifeboats to go along the sides now. Uh, so I'm going to work on the um, port side, no, starboard side, the left side, no, the right side. I don't know which bloody side it is anyway. What we're going to do, we're going to add the lifeboats. Now there's going to be eight lifeboats along the side. Now these are bas uh, basic um, bog standard uh, lifeboats that you see on pretty much any ship that I've built. So but what we're going to do, we're going to go from the uh, back end of the gap between the gantries so the, the back end here the uh, the forward gantries of the of the back pair and on the outside edge one block in we're going to leave a single block gap so a single block gap from the hinge 
and we're going to build our, uh, our davit. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six up, two up, and one there like that. So that's your first davit, and the gap between each davit is 14. So the lifeboat itself is 14 blocks. So I'll leave a 14 gap, which is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And on the 15th block, we'll build the same davit again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, and 1. And there's our, another, our next uh, davit. And then you put the lifeboat in between there. Um, preferably, I think... Uh, no, that's, that's fine, actually. All right, so that's the first where the first one will go. And then what you do, you leave a single block gap again. And then we build our next pair. So our next davit there. And then another 14 block gap. So that's 12, 13, 14. On the 15th block, we build the same again. So 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up. Uh, 2 and 1. And there's your second pair. And you get the idea. So you just want eight pairs, basically. So you want one pair, two pair, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's eight lifeboats down each side. So I shall build the first lifeboat, which will go two blocks in from the edge. So one, two, third block in, sorry. So we put the bottom of the boat, which is 12. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, it's ten, sorry. Twelve. So yeah, the, the keel of the boat is ten. Or was it 12? Make it 12. Make it 12 for the for the keel. 12 for the keel, and then 2 up and 1. And then 2 up and 1. And then we just build the same shitty boat design that I've done all through life. The same bottom to it. And the same down both sides. So get rid of the blocks on the inside because they're not needed. Any blocks underneath which cause any issues. And then we just fill the top in with grey. Where do we get grey from? We need the grey again, which is that one. The light grey, and we just fill in again. Like so, and there we go. That's the first boat. And you just want eight, eight of these down the side, and then the same on the other side. So I shall use a uh, copy paste for this one because I feel like a cheating bastard today. So here from there, so we go that one down to there, I believe. So we'll copy that one and just paste them in all along. So we'll copy that one. So we go copy, and then I we'll put the next one over here. So this will be number two. So that's number two. Then a single block gap, and then we paste again. So that's number three. And then four. And then five. And then six. seven and finally number eight and there we go there's all eight lifeboats in place there down that side and it should look something like that so that is all nice and neat so what I'll do I'll quickly copy and paste them to the other side just to save a bit of time so I'll copy from there and up to copy it to that gantry there and I shall stand here. I should go copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's the boats down the other side. All nice and neat, all lovely dovely. So there we go, got eight lifeboats down there. And everything should be fine. Uh, but like I say, they only want one gantry down either side. Or oh, one gantry on the front end, anyway. So you've got two, four at the back, one on the front. And that's that little job there. So one more job to do on the bow. No, two more jobs actually. Uh, there's no no details to do on the forecastle that I'm aware of. There probably are, but I'm not fully aware of any changes. So we'll leave that as is. But on top of the bridge, we'll go from the back corner here where this handrail is, and remove that bit there, without removing any blocks underneath. And what we'll do, we'll go two, and then just outline the edge of the bridge, 
all the way around the front of the wheelhouse and then up to the other uh, handrail there like so and then we get our carpet and we just brown the top off all the way around all the way around like that and down to the other side there there we go there's that added there and one more job to do on the bridge is to add the number but we don't add the, actually add the number because it's minecraft we can't really add numbers but we'll get red concrete anyway and what we'll do is on the front here we'll remove the center two blocks and then two out two out two out and two out and just replace them with red and what would what would be on here is that i think it's um a, uh, not, not, it's not a model number but it's sort of the number that represents this ship a fleet number basically for uh hospital duty so a number will go on there and uh, that's that you can make it a bit wider a bit taller if you want but that that's just the one I put on there and uh, from this point of view the ship does look pretty good so that is the front of the bridge all sorted out so a few more jobs to do we've got jobs on the side which require crosses um, I haven't got these planned I, well, I only put these on at random because I didn't actually have details of where these actually go but on the side um, if we go around by the gantry on the side here what we do this is the front gantry so on the side here we'll just put a three high cross on the side there like so and then one down by the other end round by the back gantries I think roughly between the two so I'll we'll put one roughly here so we'll put one above the pillar and across there and I think that will do. I'll, I'll do the other ones on the other side later on, but these ones are not really. Oh, well, they're not really that important, I don't think. Well, they probably are, but I, I haven't got uh, the, the proper detail, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so that's that. Now behind the gantries, uh, the last two gantries on the boat decks so are right at the back of the boat deck here. What you're going to do is from the hinge, see so at the back wall there. From the hinge, you leave a one-block gap, and then we build a three-wide building by three at the sides. And make it two blocks high and then we get our stone slabs again for the roof and we add the slabs all the way around and there we go that's that little shed there and we add one on the other side as well so a one block gap we go three wide one two three for the sides and then double in height all the way around and then our slab slabby slab roof like so and that's that little one done there and I think that's virtually done there's one more little job to do which requires a set of stairs uh, going from the centre block of the boat deck so the boat deck up here on the back end here we just add a set of stairs so remove the centre there uh, remove another wood block and then the two there so you add a, a gap in like that a crevice a crevice and then we get our wood stairs, which I can never find there. And then we're going to add our stairs going down. So stairs and a block, stairs and a block, stairs and a block, stairs and a block, and stairs. And then the banisters, two up, two up, two up, like so. Two up, two up, two up, like so. And a block there and there like that. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, that, that there may have been a weather cover here. I don't know, but I was just going to leave it out anyway. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do for that. So that is uh, everything, I think. But I apologise if this has taken uh, as long as it has. I mean, I don't intend I intend to make it this long, but I want to get as many details as we could out of the way. And uh, it's not done too badly, but yeah, I think we've done all right. So we've got two, now we've got two Titanics and two Britannics now. I've got four of these bloody things. So <laughs> they're all in the distance, but uh, that's that. So that is Britannic done. If you want Olympic to be done as well, which is the dog's bollocks really, it's absolutely simple to do. There's really no point of a tutorial, but I'll do it nonetheless if you want me to. I will do it. And another thing, if you're planning on doing a video or download downloadable project with this ship, then by all means you can, but don't forget to leave credit for me. Uh, for the design that's all I require but uh, anyway that is it for Britannic 
and uh, we shall leave it there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And uh, I shall return with another video. So uh, bye for now.